The purpose of this tutorial is to explain how to do and set up a design of experiments using Minitab and then push that data back into ExtendSim. So first of all, we want to look at the controllable data that we have. Um, in a design of experiments, you're going to include your controllable data only, not your fixed data. So in this example, we have three pieces of controllable data, and we're going to vary them between a high and a low value in Minitab. So let's switch ourselves over to our Minitab window. And in our mini tab window, <clears throat> if you don't have a new window open, make sure you open a fresh worksheet. And then we're going to go to stat, design of experiment, factorial, create factorial design. OK, in this case, we have three factors. We had wash just to look back at the extend sim, we had wash, wax, and number of attendance. So that's where we get the three factors. You're going to only use the two level factorial design with default generators. You don't want to mess around with that. So the first thing you're going to do is click designs. Now, there, notice that there's <clears throat> the number of available designs depends on the number of factors um, that you have selected. So you generally want to go with the largest factorial design that you can afford um, in terms of the number of runs. We're going to do a full factorial. The setup process is the same regardless of what size factorial you select. So we're going to select full factorial, and we're going to leave the number of replicates and blocks alone. OK, now notice that we can go and look at the different options. Um, it does not hurt whether or not you randomize runs, doesn't matter. The kinds of runs we're doing, the run order is not significant. And we don't want to change. You don't have to open this up, but we can not randomize the number of runs. And as far as the results, um, the rest of the alias tables and so forth, we don't really need that for what we're doing. So we just want the summary table. Now we need to click on the factors to get set up. So we're going to type in the name of our factors. Wax, wash wax, and then attendance. These are all numeric factors. You can also set up text factors, which we do not have in this problem. So text factors would be categorical factors, which again, we don't have in this particular example. So we're going to set it between a high and a low value. So let's say on the low end, we have one wash bay. On the high end, we have three. For the wax bays, maybe we have zero as the low end and four as the high end. And then we've hired between two and seven people. And then click the OK button. OK, now when we click the OK button, it will spit out our full factorial design. If we scroll into the worksheet, we can see the design summary. Um, notice that this tells us that we have eight rows worth of data with each replication. The part that we're going to copy over to Minitab is this here, and it's underneath the headings that we gave to our um, different factors. Columns one to four. Don't touch those. We, aren't, we don't do anything with them. Those are needed for Minitab to do its internal calculations. If you do anything with those, it messes stuff up, and you're going to have to start over. So. <clears throat> Now, this gives us eight total runs from that we would be doing in ExtendSim. Now, what we need to do is replicate the experiment so that we have an appropriate number of runs that we can actually run our design of experiments and have a statistically significant amount of data. So to do that, we're going to go back to stats. We're going to go back to DOE. 
but this time we're going to choose modify design. So on the modified design, um, we're going to, you can modify the factors so you can change the factor levels, although you can't add um, or remove any factors. We're going to choose replicate design and then click the specify button. So now the number of replicates that we want to add. So each replicate, like if I choose one, then it'll give me one additional copy of whatever I have in the worksheet. So in this case, if I want to do 100 total numbers of runs, I'm going to add nine runs, or I should say nine copies. So that gives me a total now you can see that this gives me 80 total runs. So to get 800, I'm going to copy this again nine times. So it's that stats, DOE, modify design, replicate, and then nine more times. So now if I look down, I should see 800, 800 runs. Okay, so now I'm going to take my 800 runs and I can either right click or I can click copy cells off of the edit menu. Now I'm going to go back over to extend sim. Now within extend sim, I want to paste the cells I've just gotten from mini tab. So I need to uh, open up the database table. So if I double click on the right block, notice that there's no rows of data in here yet. I want to show my extensive database. And in order to add into this table, I'm going to click append new records. It's going to ask me how many records I want. Now here's where we're going to need 800 records, but there's going to be a blank record that's created at the top. It does not hurt to have extra records. So I'm just going to do a thousand. And now I have a thousand blank records. Now I want to be careful and make sure that these factors are, are the same order that I had them on the mini tab wedge spreadsheet. So it's wash, wax, and attendance. So just double checking this, going back to mini tab, wash, wax attendance. Okay, now um, opening up my table controllable factors, I now have to paste in what I have from mini tab. So I can select and then right click, I can paste or I can do the edit menu and then paste cells. Now notice that there's this blank row at the top. So I, I have to that blank row at the top, I need to select that. And then I can cut selected cells. All right, let's see that. Hang on. Let's try this again. Show extensive database. I've selected that whole row. Now I'm going to right click and delete selected records. So that deletes the top, just the top row. That should leave me with 800 rows worth of data that's populated. Now it's okay to have data that's unpopulated below that. So just double checking eight, the row 800 is actually populated with my design of experiments data. Okay, so now the next thing I need to do on the read is I need to make sure that my options are set with record index is equal to run number. Otherwise, I'm just running the same thing over and over again. So now that I have all my records there and my record index is equal to run number set up, I am good to go on my design of experiments.